Hey guys, so today I'm going to be trying to do a makeup look inspired by Jay Kissa. She did this beautiful like lime green with like teal shimmer on the lid and then like a light blue inner corner and all those colors just like reminded me of the James Charles palette of course but she said that she used like color rain shadows and I think Urban Decay was also tagged. I'm gonna use this shade, this shade, and then this shade this one for the inner corner yeah i'm just really excited because i love jay kissa she's so creative and i just love her makeup and when i saw this i was like oh my goodness like i have to recreate that i haven't done like a crazy makeup look in a while i haven't played with this palette in a while so yeah let's just get started i'm going to start with the morphe eyelid prime i've talked about this a few times on my channel already how this made such a difference with the eyeshadow performance so i just take like a pea size amount not even and then i spread it between both my my lids i really don't use that much and i didn't think that i would ever like use an eyelid primer that didn't have color to it it's actually not that bad because these colors are so bold the first thing i'm gonna do is take canvas on my brow bone so that none of it has any difficulty blending on my brow bone the first brush i'm going to take is this aoa studio e132 and i'm going to dip it into social blade and then i'm going to just press it into my crease not worrying about blending yet and i'm just going to pack some more on the top because this is the shade that's going to be peeking out now i'm going to take this e129 which is like this flat paddle brush on that same shade and just take this and try and blend the edges so now that the crease is nice and brought up and blown out from inner to outer corner i'm going to go in with i'm going to go in with the elf detail crease brush in with daddy which is the dark green and just take that right in the crease right under the crease she has like a little part of like darker green right there make sure the edges stay nice and bright i'm going to take a little bit more of daddy but on this E139, which I've never really used for blending before, but I just feel like I need it to be more, yeah, of like a concentrated green, just in this one part. I'm just gonna bring Social Blade on the outer corner to blend everything. And then I'm gonna go in with this Elf Blending Brush. I'm just gonna put this above that dark green. I feel like it's kind of just mixing together, and I want it nice and vibrant so now for the lid shade i'm not really sure if i want to go like just like bare in there's such a seamless line i really don't think that she's cut it so hmm i might have to do something more now i'm going to transfer my finger with that shade and maybe it will make it more vibrant the shade i'm going in with is cape cod oh yeah that's already so much more vibrant yeah and i'm gonna bring it all the way to the outer corner so i feel like this might be a little darker than hers we're just gonna roll with it all right i'm just gonna go to my face off camera because i want this to be a kind of clear video i'm very close right now but for primer i used wet model dewy primer concealer make a revolution conceal and define and i did only powder under my eyes using my Uwe studio perfect powder so i'm going to start with the same brush i started with which is the e132 on social blade just because i want a more concentrated color also blended color at first i'm going to take off detail crease brush same social blade shade and just like blend to where it is all going together i'm going to take a tinier brush the f16 with the same shade and try and connect it i feel like i definitely put like too much color on the like outer portion because hers is like it goes out and like fans into like no color i'm gonna try and just kind of blend it out a little bit but i'm really not going to do too much just because i don't want to mess any of this up it's a recreation it's not it's i'm not trying to make it exactly the way it was so my little twist, I guess, is putting way too much color on, which also makes it not as pretty. So I'm going to stay on that same F16, like, precise brush and go in with Cape Cod and spray it. Go right up to the lower lash line. I'm actually going to bring this up. I'm pretty sure she might have, like, a little bit of that there, too, so I'm just going to bring it up like that. 
feeling mine definitely looks 20 jillion times different, but hey, that's what makeup is about. Everyone does it differently, everyone interprets it differently. So I'm gonna go back in with the Elfty Joe Crease Baroche on Social Blade and blend under it just so that there's no like harsh lines. I'm gonna take flashback on the inner corner. I like putting this down as a base for when I do my inner corner so that it will pop more. I think I'm just gonna wait on the inner corner because I want it to be like popping so I want it to be the last thing that I do. So I'm gonna do the base now. I'm gonna use the Elf Light Matte Bronzer. When I was thinking of this look, I just really wanted this blush. And this is Tarte Pate. And then for highlighter, I'm gonna use the Sunex Make Revolution Highlighting Palette. And I'm gonna use those two shades as normal. I didn't set anything except for my under eyes and my chin. So what I've started doing is like only setting those parts, but then I do my lower lash line. So then by the time I get to my face, my face makeup is set. And then I think I'm just gonna use that same brush for my bleach. I'm gonna use my Rose Roger spray since I literally never use them anymore. I think the only one that I'm gonna repurchase of the Mario Badescu sprays is gonna be the lavender one and I'm gonna get the really big one for highlighter. As always using my F19. Make sure you're blending it up into the bri. That's why I wait to do my brows last so that I can make sure everything is up there. I like bringing it in so that when I smile, I'm just going to go right down the nose. So I'm not mad at this makeup look. Obviously, like, it turned out a lot different than I expected. But I think that I would have never done, like, this sort of makeup look if, if I didn't see that. I'm gonna do the brows and then I'm gonna do, I guess I'm gonna do lashes. I literally haven't done lashes in so long. Okay. So I went in with Alexis lashes. I did my Wet n Wild Skinny on this part of my eye. Maybelline Skinny on the tight line. That's about it. She has a lime green loina on the water line. So what we're gonna do for the water line, since we do not have a lime green loina, I'm going to take this NYX retractable liner in white and then cover it up with social blade. All right, so now I'm gonna take Hellbar on my teeny tiny little brooch. I'm gonna take it just blank on my brush at first. Yeah, I think I need to spray this. So now I'm gonna take it right here and then she kind of blended it into, I feel like this is more blue than hers. I feel like hers is a little more icy. So now I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of ring light on the very center, just to kind of make sure it's like a little bit icier. Wow, the eyes are finally done. She has like kind of a warm nude lip on. I think I might have to change this shirt. It might be a little Tory colorful. So before we do the lips, I just want to show you this is the finished eyes. I feel like the inner corner did kind of complete it. I did this for my last makeup look. I used tiptoe and it looked very, very warm. I'm going to see if it looks warm with this look. Why is tiptoe showing up warm? I don't know if they like mixed up tiptoe and appy. This is how I imagined appy looking and that's why I didn't buy appy because I already have plenty of these. The girl online was literally pale and she had this on and it literally looked like gray. And she also has a little bit of a gloss on and I always love a good gloss. Here's the finished look. I feel like it's not really that similar to hers at all. But it was definitely inspired by Jay Kissa. I mean, without looking at her makeup look and wanting to recreate her makeup look, I would have never done anything like this. So I definitely recommend you try and recreate other people's makeup look. Even if you feel like you can't do it, you're going to get something that's going to be way more creative than you probably would have ever done. So yeah, I really hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love it if you subscribe down below. And please give this video a big thumbs up. It means so much to me. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! Bye. Bye. I feel like, what am I supposed to do with these sleeves? What am I supposed to do? Bye. Whatever. Hmm. This is probably gonna look a lot cuter if I have a messy bun and I'm in a sweatshirt. Literally, if you feel like your makeup doesn't look good, just put on a sweatshirt, messy bun. Girl, your makeup will look so good.